Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Fantastic to have you here again. Now if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so, so that you get notifications in your feed. Otherwise, you won't. You probably just see a whole bunch of cat videos or something boring like that. And who wants that, honestly? Hey, I don't mind a good cat video every now and again, but let's be honest, I'd rather learn about EVs and where the market is going. So, what's happening? Well, I've got a new video that's just come out all about what's happening in Europe. And guess what? Petrol and diesel powered vehicles will be pretty much banned. I would say they will definitely be banned in all of Europe. Yes, all of Europe except maybe Russia by 2030. And that's what the video is all about. In fact, new regulations coming out in a couple of months that have the German auto industry absolutely panicking and screaming their lungs out to complain because they are not ready for it. We're talking about something happening nine years away and they are in deep fear for their lives. So it's happening like dominoes, like dominoes. Every week or month I hear about countries changing their rules, making it shorter, the period in which they ban ice and diesel and petrol powered vehicles. Seriously guys, if you don't believe me, just Google it, it's happening all the time. Countries say, we're gonna ban them in 2040, and then they change it to 2035, then they change it to 2030. Now I have a new video coming out shortly, tomorrow, about every country in the world's plans for EVs, when they'll be banning diesel and petrol vehicles, because eventually every country will, or they won't need to, because the entire market will be EVs and they'll have no choice anyway. But let's talk about Canada. Now Canada is going to ban new gas powered car sales by 2035. I don't personally think they need to, I think the entire market will be EV by then. But anyway, Canada is the latest country to announce an upcoming ban on new gas powered car sales. Canada has set a target of 2035 to accelerate EV adoption. Over the last few years, many countries have announced plans to stop allowing the sale of gas powered vehicles. Norway, of course, has been the leader on that front. Kind of ironic considering they've made all their money through selling oil. But anyway, Norway has said they will ban gas powered vehicles by 2025, which they don't need to because most of their market's already EV. It'll happen naturally by 2025 for Norway. And I think it'll happen naturally for a number of countries by 2025. Yep, sounds extreme. That's what I believe. The majority of new car sales in Norway are EV. So they're well on the way. Now, you, the UK has recently changed its position on EVs. It will implement a ban on new cars with internal combustion engines by 2030 and France announced a similar initiative by 2040. In Canada, Quebec announced a plan to only allow new electric car sales by 2035, but that was at the provincial level. Now the Canadian federal government announced that the initiative will be adopted for the entire country. They said the government of Canada will require 100% of car and passenger truck sales to be zero emission by 2035 in Canada to protect the environment. Sounds markety, new agey, greeny, like they care about the environment. Uh, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I think it's more about economics. I think it's more about sounding good, but they know the writing's on the wall. It's gonna happen anyway. You'd have to be a mad person to buy a petrol or diesel truck in 2035 when you can get an EV truck. Imagine the cost difference. The cost difference will be astronomical by 2035 if there are even diesel or petrol powered trucks on the market. I mean, I think it's highly unlikely. It's unclear whether the government is going to announce new incentives to accelerate EV adoption in order to reach this goal. But Canada already has a $5,000 rebate for the purchase of new electric vehicles that cost under 55,000 Canadian dollars. Now guys, as I've talked about on this channel, the bans are useful to let people know where the market is heading, but honestly, it's unnecessary because the entire EV, the entire world car market and truck market will be EV by 2035 without any question. Now remember, high volume EVs are going to quickly become the most compelling cars on the market, which is going to make it clear to consumers that their next vehicle must be EV. Petrol and diesel vehicles will be the uncoolest thing you could possibly buy in 2030. It'll be like going out and buying an old Blackberry phone or an old Nokia, what were they called, 3410 or something. They just won't be the thing to do. Now, in my opinion, most people that have any form of sanity will not buy a petrol or diesel vehicle in 2025. That's when the market will reach the tipping point in which the manufacturers of 
diesel and petrol vehicles will be in enormous trouble if they haven't prepared for it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.